let's move on to our second example of working backwards, sleepy shipwrecked sailors. Four men were shipwrecked on an island. Having no food, they went to work gathering pineapples. After gathering pineapples, they were tired and all fell asleep. After another while, one of the men awoke and was very hungry. So he ate one third of the pineapples, more than his proper share. He then went back to sleep. The second man awoke and being hungry, ate one third of the remaining pineapples and he also went back to sleep. The third man did the same, meaning he ate one third of the remaining pineapples. When the fourth man awoke, he ate one fourth of the remaining pineapples. Then there were six pineapples left. How many pineapples did the men gather? As we saw in the last problem, when we're working backwards, we often don't know the number that we start with. So let's just go through and highlight the actions or the math that occurs. We notice that when the first man awoke, he was so hungry that he ate one third of the pineapples. When the second man awoke, he was really hungry and ate one third of the remaining pineapples. The third man did the same, which I mentioned earlier meant he ate one third of the remaining pineapples. And finally, the fourth man awoke, and he ate one-fourth of the remaining pineapples. We also identified that they indicated how many pineapples were left, and they shared with us that there were six pineapples left. Finally, as always, it's very important for us to identify what question it is that we're trying to answer. And here we're trying to answer how many pineapples did the men gather? That's an important thought to keep in mind. Because as we're going through our problem, we need to think about how many pineapples they had. So let's begin. We don't know how many pineapples they started with. We indicate that with a question mark. The first man ate one third of the pineapples. And if you look at that sentence, you see the word of. We've discussed many times this year that of means to multiply. And if the first man ate one third of the pineapples, but we're trying to figure out how many pineapples they have, I need to do something a little bit interesting here, and this happens with all fractions. If he ate one-third, how many do they still have? That's right, two-thirds. So we actually use two-thirds in this situation because we're trying to figure out how many pineapples they have, not how many they ate. Let's keep that in mind and move on to the next step. The second sailor ate one-third of the remaining pineapples. Again, we see the word of, so we know we're going to multiply. And if he ate one-third, how many do they still have? Sure, it's the same, two-thirds. The third man did the same, so again, we're going to repeat that step. And finally, the fourth sailor ate one-fourth of the remaining pineapples. So we know we're going to multiply. If he ate one-fourth, how many do they still have? That's right, three-fourths. And we know that there were six pineapples left, so we put equal six. Now when we work backwards with fractions, it becomes a little bit more difficult than our previous problem. So watch carefully, and I'll explain how you do this. We still draw our arrow. And if I need to do the opposite, 6 multiplied by 3 fourths will become 6 divided by 3 fourths. Because the opposite of multiply by 3 fourths is divide by 3 fourths. Remember our catchy phrase last unit. Keep it, switch it, flip it. And now we've got a multiplication problem. So really all we're doing is we're still multiplying, but we're multiplying by the reciprocal. So let's do our math. 3 and 6 will cross cancel, and we'll be left with a 1 and a 2. And 2 times 4 is 8. Don't forget to write down your answer so you don't lose track. Let's keep going and use that same idea. If we're going to take 8 and multiply, which really on the way back we're dividing by 2 thirds, we know that's going to be the same as multiplying by 3 over 2. Remember what we said in the previous step. We're still going to multiply, 
but we find the reciprocal of the fraction. And 8 times 3 over 2, let's do our cross-canceling. 2 becomes a 1, 8 becomes a 4, and 4 times 3 is 12. Again, write down your answer so you don't forget. Keep working backwards. We know this is going to be times 3 over 2. It's becoming a pattern now. So 12 times 3 over 2. Let's look at our cross-canceling. The 2 becomes a 1. The 12 becomes a 6. 6 times 3 is 18. So again, we record our answer. And one last step. We're going to multiply by 3 over 2, the reciprocal. And we've got 18 times 3 over 2, cross-cancel, the 2 becomes a 1, the 18 becomes a 9, and 9 times 3 is 27. So we believe that there were 27 pineapples at the beginning after they finished gathering them. Let me just remind you that I want you to show me the steps to check to make sure it works. So if they started with 27 pineapples, and we know that the first sailor ate one-third of the pineapples, that means I need to divide it by three. He ate nine, and if there were 27 to start with and he ate nine, we know that there are 18 pineapples left. The second man ate one-third of the remaining pineapples. So if he ate one-third, that means he ate six. And if we had 18 and he ate six, that's right, we're now left with 12. The third man did the same, which means he ate one-third of them. What's one-third of 12? Four. So if we had 12 pineapples and he ate four, we have eight left. The fourth man ate one-fourth of the remaining pineapples. One-fourth of eight is two. So if the fourth man ate two pineapples, if we had eight, he ate two, that means there are six left. And does that match? with what our problem said would be remaining? Yes, it does. So when we did our working backwards, we did it correctly, with 27 being the number of pineapples. So let's summarize our answer. The question says, how many pineapples did the men gather? The correct answer is 27 pineapples. And this is the last time you're gonna hear this, but please don't forget to put a box around your answer so that I can find it easily.